Hi guys, this is uh, Aman from uh, Hatu 101 and uh, I'm here again yet for another video and in this video I'm going to try to explain how to manage a particular app in Android. Let's say the app is misbehaving or you want to force close it and you, you want to reset all the data, you want to clear all the cache. So the best way to do it is hit menu, look for settings in your app drawer, any way uh, for getting into settings is fine, then applications and then hit not running hit manage applications and here are hit all and these are all the applications running in your phone these can these can be embedded applications like the ones I I'm, I'm, I have an HTC phone so these can be like embedded applications like applications from HTC or the ones you install from Android market let's say for example Let's say cross cross code tennis is misbehaving for some reason. It's a game. It won't really give me option to force close it. Let's try something else. Let's say which one I don't really use often. Let's try Flickr. Okay. Let's say Flickr was misbehaving and you wanted to force close it. So there's an option you can hit force close it will force close flicker and start it from the beginning again and it will then you can also do clear data which means you can all you can clear the data associated like your account in flicker it will clear all that data and start the application from the beginning and here you see this option clear defaults this option is for uh, home home launchers let's say the app replaces your home launcher the default launcher then this ac this option will be available for that for, uh, for that application there's also option for clear cache if you go to another app call let's try sorry let's try google maps that should have all the options let's try launcher pro here we go. It's an option to force close Launcher Pro. I can uninstall Launcher Pro right from here. I can clear all the data associated with Launcher Pro. Right now it's not my default uh, launcher, so I don't really have option to clear defaults. And I'm not really using it right now, so I don't have the option to clear cache. But this is how you manage each application in Android manually if you want to do it the hardcore way. And that's about it for now. See you later, guys.